Port forwarding allows users to forward traffic for a device from one port to another. Normally, the built-in firewall blocks incoming traffic from the internet. With a publicly routable WAN IP address, users can create rules to allow this traffic instead. If you're still not clear on what port forwarding is, then let us put it another way. Imagine you're in front of a brick wall that has a magic door. Use the right key or port, and it opens to the device you need to access. The way this works in the real world is that the firewall translates the WAN IP you enter along with the port number into the correct route to the device on your LAN. In our example, we have one of our IP switches connected to the LAN of our RX55 router. I'll start by logging into the admin page of the router. Before we configure the port forwarding, I'm going to reserve the IP address of our switch on the network. This way, it will connect with the same address all the time. Go to Networking on the left and select DAC per reservation under General. Find the device you want to connect to remotely here and click the Add button. It should then appear under the Fixed IP Assignment section below. Now that we've reserved the address, it's a good idea to confirm you can reach the device while you're on the same local network. This helps verify what port the device is accessed at. In our case, it is port 80, which is very common. In this case, we need to select an unused port to forward traffic to. Now to configure the port forwarding rule, we're going to look under Networking, Firewall, and Port Forwarding Rules. Click the button to create port forwarding rule and a window will appear. Start by setting the rule active under Enabled. Give the rule a unique name to identify it. Specify a source IP or network if needed. If none is selected, anyone with the address and credentials can connect. Enter the zones or interfaces you want to connect over. Set the destination port next, in our case that is going to be port 8080. Hit enter to add the port. In the forward to device field, select the LAN device you just set a DHC per reservation for. The forward to port field is next. This is where I'm going to enter the port number that my switch listens at, port 80. Hit enter to add ports. Lastly, set the protocol this device uses. Options are TCP, UDP, or both. Click Create when done, then click Save. Now that the port forwarding is configured, I'm going to confirm the public IP address of my cellular connection so that I know where to reach my device remotely. This is found at the Status, Monitoring section. Refer to System and WAND. Once I'm on a different Wi-Fi network with internet access, I can test the remote connection to my switch. In a new window on my browser, I'll enter the public IP address followed by a colon in the port I set, which is 8080. As you can see, it's taken me to the same login page where I had accessed my switch locally, except now I am coming in remotely over my router's cellular connection and with a different port number. After you verify the port or ports your LAN device uses, configuring port forwarding should be as simple as we've shown here. We hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to our channel if you're interested in more videos like this. Thank you.